first of all, I think welcome to uh, ALM Architects as well as CoX. Uh. The place is called CoX is because of CoCO can be any any code, uh, but to us it's community, so X can be any X. Uh. I joke, I know, I normally I joke, uh, common ex girlfriend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but can, it could be, uh, to us it's a community experiment. Why is it experiment? Because uh, we have a lot of commercial uh, space out there, but those are commercial space. Commercial space means that we cannot make mistakes. We cannot do experiment. We don't allow any uh, 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 so-called mistake, mistake. Try and error. But we want to try and error because we want to push the limit. We want to see how is our cultural DNA. And in return, this become our inspirations of our architecture. And that's why we call it experiment. Now this is a lab, lab. Uh, okay, lab. laboratory. So that is this is uh, what we call uh, our our playground and uh, experimental lab. No? That in order to uh, inspire. So what should be inspired? It should inspired by human, by people. Uh, and culture is actually made up by people. So what we do is that uh, for us to go to the community is very difficult because everybody is segregated in the city. So what we do is that we hope that we can create a space where everybody can come together. And once they come to us, we save time first of all. Secondly is that they will know each other, like our collaborators there, they will know each other, then they will they will have a quite an interesting crossover uh, work together uh, that, uh, and uh, pairing of all the different uh, arts and cultural cross pollination. Cross yes, <laughs> yes. And, and in fact, we are here only about six, uh, eight, nine months, uh, nine weeks. Nine weeks. Uh, there is a lot of things that we observe that very interesting just as an observer. Then at the end of the day, we find that at first we thought we need to do promotion, ask people to come, but in fact, no need to just sit here and uh, people will come and we are full with activities uh, even big days we all come and the weekend is even the whole day uh, is planned up. so this gives us a very interesting uh, so-called opportunity to see the real people the creativity the so-called passions which is like hidden in the city you know? so we hope that uh, this can slowly be in, uh, developed and become a very unique dna of human culture uh. Indian culture is not only a mural art, yeah. not only those commercial things, but a lot of people are doing their things passionately. Yeah. Not only locals, but even expatriate, uh, and also uh, a lot of uh, so-called uh, hidden gems are uh, in them. So we are glad that we have this opportunity to, uh, to actually become an experimental ground for everyone, and we hope this will continue growing. Uh. So uh, also a, a little bit of how the thing design as an architect. Huh? So we also treat this as a design uh, experimental ground, where in this case, we try to experiment with uh, using all the recycled material. So you can see everything you can see here, other than aircon or all the electrical fitting, the chair you sit, uh, even the tables, are actually a recycled material. And we are glad that in the process, in this case, we have all the similar rigs in terms of the material, they are using pine. So there are different batches of pine wood come into pictures and it create a very interesting texture and feeling to the place. So also at the same time, we also encourage the local craftsmanship where you can see our rattan chair at the back. Instead of normal office chair, which is comfortable. I have to say, rattan chair is not as comfortable as office chair. Uh, but we choose to go out of our comfort zone. Uh, very good support. Uh. We get rattan chair. Uh. <laughs> uh, first of all, it's very cheap. Uh. <laughs> It's about 180 ringgit per piece. Right, right. But the most importantly is that we have the opportunity to engage local craftsmen where they are the last generations. They are, are back from uh, rapid, they are about 70, 80 years old. I think they are the last generation. But once they pass away, uh, I think 10 years later, we need to buy rattan chair from Indonesia already. Even though the Indonesian rattan chair are cheaper than what we can available in Penang, if you buy Indonesian 160 per piece, after negotiate and negotiate, press them until they <laughs> try. Uh, the price is 180 ringgit. Normally they sell outside about 250 per piece. So uh, we are glad that uh, we take this opportunity to work together with local craftsmen. And also uh, we can actually uh, take this uh, process as a learning curve. Because, for example, to salvage a timber is not as easy as just to salvage it. Because the most important is not to salvage. Salvage is free. But the, the process of doing it, just no worry, no, no carpenter. In fact, sad to say, carpenter in Penang uh, doesn't uh, do, do not know how 
how to do carpentry work. Oh. They are doing lamination works. Oh. They are using machines. They don't have. They are not craftsmen. They are machine operators. They have physicians. Uh, they come to CNC and everything. But uh, we are quite lucky that we, we, we found a few uh, passionate uh, people that who can handle the woods with passion and with love. So we go through a long process of how to uh, uh, how to work together with all this because those timbers are have their own characters. They are they are they, they are like they have their own characters and uh, we, we, we we take a long process to to make friends with them and now we are considering uh, so called uh, half an expert uh, of how to handle the recycled material. So this is also a learning curve for us and uh, we are glad that uh, we. We combine all these puzzles together and curating the space. Lah. So, hope you enjoy uh, your, your day and night here. Yes. Uh, so, thanks for your coming and you all can continue. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Any questions? Oh. <laughs>